Uh, I want to talk about titanium backup. Um, this is absolutely um, one of my absolute favorite ROMs. Um, I'm about to back something up now. Um, it has so many wonderful uses. The number one one is, um, of course, you know, rooting your devices. You may want to try different things. You may want to try a different ROM. You may want to better your ROM, like you might have a pretty good one, and then they update it, and it's even a better one. And what I find a lot of times is, even though you have your apps in the App Store, which I'm not even sure if a lot of people know this. I discovered this by accident. Um, if you hit my apps here, um, it'll give you a list of all the apps you have currently installed from the app market and then all the ones you've ever installed that you've allowed to stay in your history. You also have this little mark there to cross off and you can delete that so you can actually shrink your history. Some of these I keep because some I have on my phone, some I have on my tablet, um, some I got for when I get a better phone. Um, because one of the problems that I have currently is I have HTC Evo 4G right now and it's not dual core um, and some of the, the apps um, run better on the dual core and also it has hardly no memory. It only has one gig of internal memory space. It can't be expanded. It can't be enlarged and so I pretty much max out at 200 apps. Um, I've had to take all of my games off which is one of the reasons why my tablet is um, game heavy um, because everything that I used to play on my phone I now put on a larger screen and play them on my tablet um, but the other thing is I'm also waiting on you know a better phone I'm waiting to be able to afford a better phone I don't want contracts so I want to be able to just buy one um, outright but I um, love titanium backup because I can take every app that I have every app that I've ever had and if it's decent or if it's something that I know I want to do maybe use again at a later date later time especially like launchers and things like that um, when they update it it changes sometimes even how the app functions sometimes they take functions away and give you other things like they'll say oh it's bug fixes but maybe my device didn't have any bugs and I like the way it used to work that's actually my favorite reason for titanium backup because a lot of times I'll read these reviews and people will say hey don't get the update, the update sucks or you know whatever and you know sometimes I forget to read them, I don't get them and I get the app and oh man I'm crushed because the app doesn't work the same it's not good and so now I'm stuck with an app that I don't like well the beauty of titanium backup is I can uninstall that app come here into titanium backup um, I'm backing up apps as I'm scrolling through I'm seeing apps that I haven't backed up yet and I can restore it um, the same way I click that button and press the backup I can click one that has a backup and it will give me the option to restore and then if you press restore it gives you the options to do data only app and app and data um, what I find is it's easier to go ahead and restore it with just the app and then after you restore the app restore the data that way you're just kind of getting your device to do one thing at a time uh, I find it's, it may be a little slower but after that you won't find that the the app has any bugs or any glitches or anything like that and um, the other thing I really really love about titanium backup is um, because of course I don't get to design ROMs I'm not a ROM designer there are certain apps that I just don't like um, like Gmail um, because I'm not just a Gmail person I have Yahoo I have Hotmail and I like having all my emails in one account so what I've done is I have an email client and I usually use that and that has all my emails that comes to me and I usually um, will uh, uninstall Gmail because that's really just bloatware for me um, I do the same thing with the weather 
and the news because if I want that, I can just look it up myself. That's bloatware. The other beautiful thing is I can take apps like Titanium Backup, ROM Manager. Um, this is a great file manager. And you can take apps that you really enjoy and you can convert them. I don't know if you see this down here. Convert it to a system app. So if you see, I just took that file manager app here and I really like that file manager app. Um, and I uninstalled the file manager that came. It was an ICS file manager. It was really boring. I like stuff that's got more 3D graphics, so I have to do the file manager as well as the key, and I just select it, hold it down, and I can convert that to a system app. And I can kind of guarantee that I'll have space to convert it. And, of course, every system app um, turns red. I did the same thing with these galleries. Um, I like the 3D gallery that I can get from the web market, the customizable 3D gallery. I don't like the ICS um, gallery. Unfortunately, um, this ROM, for whatever reason, um, when I try to, uh, oh, that's not the right way. When I try to uninstall, if you see me press uninstall here, it tells me, um, I have no current backup. I say, okay, I don't need it. Failed to locate APK, APK file. So I don't know why. So instead, I took this app and, oh, I don't need to tap it. And if you see here, it says um, to defrost. This button here says defrost. So I can defrost it because originally... I, it has freeze here. You can press freeze. And that basically keeps the apps from running, keeps it from being recognized by, you know, other apps like your, you know, my different um, camera apps. And so I don't have to keep contending with that. If I download something from an email, that gallery won't come up as a choice. I'll just get the gallery that I want. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to uninstall that, but I can freeze it. So there's always like a little way around something in, um, you know, Titanium Backup that I really enjoy. Um, the other thing that I like about Titanium Backup is I can take things out that really aren't necessary. Like for, for whatever reason, with the HP touchpad, people keep putting the M SMS um, messages and things like that and even... Um, uh, and you you can't get messages. It's not built for that. So I can uninstall that, take it out, make room, and then for a ROM that I really like, I can um, make that a system ROM. So if I ever have to scrap, like my Pandora. I have this Pandora because I got that from another ROM. It's great. It has unlimited skips. So I can skip, 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 skip all day long, and my Pandora will continue to play. So no matter how many Pandoras are out there, I don't even know what number, probably at 5, I'm still at this 1.5.18, um, and until I find another newer one that has unlimited skips, I'm just going to keep this Pandora, so I make that a system app every time I, um, so if I ever need to just, um, for whatever reason, scratch my data and do everything, or go to factory reset, that Pandora will be there, and I won't have to reinstall it. And I won't have to come into Titanium Backup. Like with all my games, of course, I can't make that a system app. So when I come into Titanium Backup, one of the things that it allows you to do is you can hit the menu button. I hit that. It's up here in the corner. Oh, wait a minute. I already hit it. This button here is the menu. You hit that and you get all of these options here. Um, and this is one of the number one one number one ones I use is of course it's the preferences and this is what you can do how you have your um, how you have the app set up um, basically I don't touch any of that stuff um, the only thing um, I have is the max history uh, I have it at five um, because some apps like um, the uh, MUI, um, the MUI locker, every time you get a different, uh, they update it, it gets different pictures. So you can go back to the first one and get a whole set of pictures that aren't in the fifth one or the fourth one. So for that one, uh, I like to have 
like I have like five different of the Mui, um, the Mui uh, lock launchers, um, and the other it's a it's a, this the Subway Surfer that's the game, Subway Surfer every Subway Surfer is different. One time they're in New York, another time they're in Italy. Right now I think they're in Rome. So I have all those different versions. So if I ever feel like playing and playing the Italy version, they have a Christmas version. Um, I can go back and uninstall and reinstall the backup and then back it up again once I, you know, get better scores, get more boards, whatever it is, I do better in the game. And then I can just, you know, play all the different versions of the Subway Surfer. So that's something that I found that I enjoy about Titanium Backup. Um, because some games, they do that. Not a lot of games. Most of the games keep keep it the same and add um, to it, like, you know, Angry Birds and um, um, Greedy Spiders and stuff like that. They add to it, but I do have a few apps out there that uh, every time they give you an update, it's really a different app. So for that purpose, I use Titanium Backup. The other thing I like is the Batch Actions. Um, you can do all of these different, you can verify your backups, you can back up all the user apps, you can back up apps and system data, you can app back up the, uh, you can redo backups, um, you can restore certain portions, there's a restore section, there's a move and integrate, you can move them to SD card, you can move them to internal memory, you can integrate the updates into the system's ROM, um, you can freeze, defrost, and you can do multiple apps um, at a time. So let me do something that's not too unsafe. Verify all your backups. You click that. If you see all, everything that's backed up is checked here. And if I uncheck it, then that one won't be verified. And if I wanted to run this, there's a little check in the corner. I just click that check. And then there would be information on the screen that would tell me it's verifying my apps. I don't really know um, the point for all of that um, yet. I haven't had a reason to have to do that. But Titanium Backup is like absolutely the best. Um, there is ROM Toolbox, which is another one. But Titanium Backup is for Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um... Uh, backups and ROM toolboxes for Nandroid. So basically, if you have Clockwork Mod, Titanium Backup tends to work a little better. And if you have Twerp as your recovery um, ROM toolbox, which I actually um, have ROM toolbox too, um, because I think that that's a great app too. I actually um, am about to change my font, and I'm going to use ROM toolbox. Um, to do that because um, you can change your ROMs and you can do different things. You had a terminal emulator. I like it for the rebooter. Um, but that was just my little video on Titanium Backup.